Good morning, Polar Bears. How's it going, y'all? Um, happy Friday. It's January 22nd, 2021. Yes, it's my birthday. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be at school, so I won't get to see all of your towers being built, which honestly, I'm kind of bummed out about. But I'm going to enjoy my day off, and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. So we are back for engineering design, and let's get started. I know you're probably ready to go. First things first, a quick spot the difference, y'all. So we have six differences today. Try to do this as pretty quickly. Don't spend too much time on this problem. Pause me now and go ahead and answer this question on your form. So go ahead and pause me now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and yes, yes, today is the day. Can you tell I'm a little giddy? I'm like super excited. Uh, please make sure you do watch this video. It's gonna be helpful for our project. So before we get started, this is our engineering design process. We've been using it the last uh, couple of lessons for our engineering challenge and our foil, specifically our foil paper tower challenge. Last week, we basically dealt with our ask step our imagine step and our plan step, right? We, I introduced the prompt, the challenge itself, you brainstormed different ideas and then you were able to plan it and draw it out. Shout out to y'all for those of y'all that did send in um, your designs. Y'all, some of y'all were really intricate, were really detailed and had really good designs. So props to y'all. Thank you for doing that. This week, obviously, Yes, we're gonna create, we are gonna try our plans out. We are gonna actually draw them out. So again, our prompt, our challenge is, what is the tallest freestanding tower you can build with only one box of tempo in 10 minutes? I know that's a lot. We're gonna go through the rules. We're gonna go through the steps. So remember our supplies, we have one roll full of foil paper. That is it, right? You were doing it on your own. Don't get help from your teacher, from other, from your friends, from your siblings, just you, just try it out. A ruler is also needed. Y'all, this is only for the photo. Don't use it for the actual building of the tower. If you don't have a ruler, it's okay. Don't freak out, you're fine. Don't worry about it. So our rules, the tower must be freestanding. And remember, that means you can't hold the tower. It has to stand on its own at the end, uh, once time is up. You can only have 10 minutes and I have a 10 minute timer in the form below and no other supplies can be used. No toilet paper rolls, no tape, no nothing, only foil paper. Okay, so please remember only foil paper. Remember, I'm doing this twice because it's important. No other supplies are allowed. I know it's tempting. So again, no toilet paper rolls, no tape, no glue, no nada. Nada, no, oh, the little accent came out, I'm sorry. So those are the rules, please do follow them. So have your supplies ready, start your timer. Once you start it, boom, you're off to the races. You are bringing out all your foil paper and you are building. Once the time is up, stop building, stop. Don't touch it, don't touch it no more. So once you see it's getting down to zero, you better have it ready. Make sure it's standing up on its own. If your tower falls at any point after time is up, right? Time hits zero, 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 and it falls, your tower does fall. Don't pick it up. This isn't life alert. Don't pick it up. Just leave it on the floor, leave it on the desk, leave it on your table. That's okay. Now, if it does stand, good job. That's, that's a good job. So once time is up, Hold your ruler if you had one, put place it next to your tower, right? Hold it next to the tower just so I can kind of get an idea how tall it is. And then have your teacher, have a friend in your class, have a sibling take a photo of the ruler next to the tower. Again, if you don't have a ruler, don't freak out. That's okay. I just, I really need the photo of the tower itself. So it's going to look a little something like this, right? You see it kind of standing up, nobody's holding it, and just make sure to take that photo. This is for all scholars, whether you're on campus, whether you're at home, send me a photo of your tower. Just like last time you sent me a design, this time I want the actual photo of the tower to my email. 
make sure you include your first name, your last name, and include your advisor, your teacher. Is it Ms. Torres? Is it Mr. Zeely? Is it uh, Ms. Reddix or Ms. Janice? Just let me know, please. Let me know who your advisor teacher is. And let's see, okay, whoops. All right, well, good luck y'all. Um, good luck, let me know. I'm curious to see how they go and go ahead and begin your challenge. <laughs> 